Hi there, Alan here with the first video in a video series that I'm calling Pattern Modeling with GIMP. Now, <coughs> GIMP is a free software program. You can download it at GIMP.org. They have versions for Mac, Windows, and uh, Linux. Now, once you download and install the program, it's going to look like this. Uh, you got your tools, tool options, layers, brushes. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do when you uh, before you start working with GIMP is uh, improve the the navigation functions with a zoom and, and just in general using the scroll the scroll wheel on the mouse to do this go to edit preferences go to input devices input controllers mouse wheel and then main mouse wheel and to uh, edit the main mouse wheel functions you go down and hit this little button down here configure the selected controller now these these are all the the events the scroll events the mouse button scroll uh, you got your scroll up and then you have scroll down then you have scroll up with the shift shift scroll up what you're going to want to do is change these from the original to what I have right here. Um, to do that, let's use the let's select the scroll up, and then to edit scroll up, you go down here and hit the edit button. And now to change the action for scroll up. You just type in. So I'll type in view slash zoom slash out. And as you type it in, you get different uh, the different functions from GIMP down here. You have the action and then the name. So scroll up. We're gonna set it for view zoom out. Now you have these other functions too. Uh, these other functions, uh, view, zoom out, skip, will actually skip steps and make the zooming in and out faster. A little bit too fast for uh, what we want to do. So just select view, zoom out, hit OK, and then it will show up in your actions for the event. What you want to do is go through and change each one of these individually until you have all the same ones that I have here. And then when you're done, hit close and it'll be all set to go. Just hit OK. And now I'll open a new image, 640 by 400. I'll use the mouse scroll button, scroll wheel, to zoom in and out, like this. And now if you want to use something like the airbrush tool, you'll have an outline of the size, and then you hold control, you can change the size of the airbrush, hold alternate, you can change the size in smaller increments. Now to make sure that you get this outline of the brush, visible on screen, you'll want to go to Edit, Preferences, click on Image Windows, make sure that the mouse pointers show brush size outline and show pointer is checked. And that's it for the first video. I'll have more videos going up uh, soon. Thanks for watching.